I just saw a black woman commentator on Britain's state mouthpiece, the BBC, a woman by the name of Alex Scott, MBE, a former gifted woman footballer with the Arsenal Football Club, at the end of a tirade about human rights abuses in Qatar, saying, we hope at the next World Cup we won't have to have these conversations again. No, Alex, you definitely will not have these conversations again. You will not, four years hence, if God spares us all, be heard talking about the 25% of the world's prisoners that are held in America's prisons, even though the World Cup will be in America. We will not be told that the biggest portion of them, Alex, are people who look like you, whose skin color is the same as yours. You will not be talking about the chain gangs of black prisoners in the United States of America. You will not be talking about the gunning down of party goers at gay clubs. You will not be talking about the massacres in the malls all over the United States of America. You will definitely not be talking about the 50 countries that America has invaded or overturned in the years since the end of the Second World War. I promise you, you will not be talking about any of that. You will not be talking about the extreme injustices of the US injustice system. You won't say a word about it. Qatar is nothing to do with me. I'm banned from Qatar. I'm not here shilling for Qatar. I have no, zero relations with Qatar. But my goodness, are they being traduced in this World Cup because they don't allow people to stagger around drunk in the streets of Qatar. A fact which was known by FIFA and the world that is represented at FIFA when they granted the World Cup to Qatar in the first place. Gay sex is not legal in Qatar, as it isn't in any Muslim country in the world, as it isn't in any but one African country in the world, as it isn't particularly popular in Poland, where 300 mayors have just declared their towns to be LGBTQ plus free, and yet we're shipping money and weapons to Poland, we're citing American nuclear weapons in Poland, the better with which to threaten Russia. This hypocrisy is utterly sick. It means that the World Cup should not be in any Muslim country. Why don't you come out and say that? It means that the World Cup cannot be in any African country. It means that the World Cup's not that popular in Alabama and in other states of the United States that only until very recently gay relations were illegal. The hypocrisy over the rainbow bands is beginning to beggar belief. Every single football broadcast on ITV and BBC in Britain begins with and is punctuated at half time with attacks on the organizers' cutter. I even had someone say to me today how dreadful it is that some games start at 10 o'clock in the morning. I tell you what, why don't we hold the World Cup every four years in Greenwich? Then we can watch it at Greenwich meantime, and it can be not the World Cup, but the Anglo-Sphere Cup. If you're going...